This is a video response to Jason Unruh's video entitled Don't Boycott, Strategize the Canadian Federal Election. I fundamentally agree with him. People should vote in federal elections, especially if the Conservatives are absolutely terrible. Indeed, that is one of the reasons why I vote for the Australian Labour Party. I can say that the party has adopted an anti-war platform. First opposing conscription during the First World War, and then opposing war outright during the Cold War. The Conservatives, as represented by the Liberal National Party coalition in Australia, are basically warmongers. They're pro-war. Indeed, they send Australian troops to Korea, Vietnam and Iraq. Three wars that Labour opposed. Indeed, Labour even adopted an anti-war stance when war was wildly popular with the Australian public. See Arthur Corwell's speech. ...to talk about Vietnam. So much has been said for and against Australia's commitment in Vietnam. Yet this will be the first time you will be asked to make up your own mind. I'm sure you will do this, having thought very carefully about your decision. You see, whether we like it or not, Right at this moment, Australia is at war. It is no less a real war than if it were being waged in the streets of our own city. It is different only in one way. That is because it is being waged in someone else's backyards and not in our own. We are still in a position to decide just what part Australia will play in Vietnam. The decision you make at this election will be a critical one. It will decide whether we increase our military commitment in Vietnam by sending more of our young men to fight, or whether we join nations like Britain, Canada, France, New Zealand, Sweden, Switzerland, and Ireland in giving civil aid. Even the greatest optimists are expecting a long, long war in Vietnam. Ten years is being used as a conservative estimate. In other words, our small boys in primary school today could well be fighting in Vietnam tomorrow. Of more immediate concern are our 20-year-old conscripts. The government has clearly indicated that more will be sent and that we will greatly increase our military strength in Vietnam. In America, conscription starts with 18-year-olds. Now young men up to 26 years of age are being called uh, into active service. And so we see the net growing wider. And inevitably we must expect the same thing to happen here in Australia. Next February, the first of our university graduates will be sent to Vietnam young doctors, engineers, teachers, agricultural graduates and scientists. But they won't be used to heal and to teach and to give South Vietnam the benefit of their skills. They will be used to search out and kill the enemy. They will be destroying, not building. The Australian people, on the other hand, had a different view. Tell me, what do you, what do you think about sending troops to Vietnam? Oh, I think it's a good idea. I think, um all countries should participate and help each other like that. Well, if it's going to protect Australia, I think it's worthwhile. Oh, I think it's got to be done. I haven't got any choice at this stage. Oh, well, I think it's necessary. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me now. I haven't thought too much about it yet. Right. Well, I suppose you have to really keep them, keep the uh, communists out. The people who voted for the Conservatives at that election are not only responsible for the deaths of thousands of Vietnamese people by giving the war legitimacy, but also the death of five, over 500 Australian servicemen who perished in the war. Labour did the right thing to oppose that war, even if the Australian people ignored their wise warnings. Labour is now considered to be the traditional anti-war party, whilst the Liberal National Coalition are seen as pro-war. Labour also opposed Australia's involvement in the Iraq War, another which was supported by the majority of the Australian people. I note that the New Zealand Labour government opposed the war and did not send any troops. Australia, which had a conservative government at the time, sent Australian servicemen to Iraq. We all know that the leader of the British Labour government, Tony Blair, was an enthusiastic supporter of the war, and now he is rightly a hated figure within the Labour Party. Indeed, I was encouraged to learn that Jeremy Corbyn believed that Iraq was an illegal war 
and that Blair should be punished for it. In conclusion, there is no point of voting for a far leftist party if it is going to split the leftist vote and allow the conservatives into power. That is why I vote for the ALP. I don't want a conservative government that wishes to turn Australia into another America. So yes, I will continue to vote Labour over any tiny far leftist party. I would certainly support a Labour government over a hard right, war supporting and union bashing conservative Liberal National Coalition. I wish you Canadians the best of luck. I hope you unceremoniously throw Harper out of office. I also hope that Australians throw Abbott out next year. I really enjoy your videos and I hope you keep making them. Communism, the evil force that enslaves one-third of the world's population, is moving perilously close to Australia. If you vote ALP, you are voting for a party that works with and helps communists. The